8 Signs That Sex With Someone Is About To Get Even Better Don't give up on a good thing too soon. It's a familiar situation, you're having sex with someone for the first or maybe the third time, and while it's good, it's not exceptional. You like this person, but you're uncertain if the chemistry, or their sexual prowess, is worth another try. Even though there aren't any fireworks or a dramatic soundtrack, there are some clear indicators that sticking with it could make sex with them a lot more enjoyable. Here's what to look out for. 1. They take their time on foreplay instead of rushing to the main event. Someone who doesn't rush through or skip all the delightful activities you can do in bed besides vaginal sex, like making out, oral sex, and fingering, is onto something. For instance, research shows that the golden trio of genital stimulation, deep kissing, and oral sex significantly increases your chances of orgasm compared to just penile penetration. No surprise there. Even if your partner hasn't mastered the art of foreplay yet, their eagerness to explore and take their time turning you on is a very promising sign for the future. 2. During sex, they ask questions. Specifically, questions like, how does this feel, and what can I do to make you feel good, are key. If they're checking in with you during sex and seeking feedback, it indicates they're genuinely invested in your pleasure, not just their own satisfaction. Hookups often follow a predictable script, allowing partners to go through the motions without much communication. If you found someone who doesn't rely on this script, they're likely open to more detailed conversations about your preferences and desires when you're not in bed as well. 3. They use your feedback in real time. When you say, touch me a little to the left, and they actually do it, it shows they're listening and genuinely trying, even if they don't get it perfect every time. A good listener makes a good sex partner if given the chance to learn. 4. They do something you said you liked the last time you hooked up. Congratulations, you're not with a goldfish but a human being with a functioning long-term memory. If you tell them one night how you like to be kissed, and three nights later they kiss you that way without being reminded, it shows they're paying attention not just in the moment but over time. This is a great sign for a potentially amazing sex life. 5. They don't take feedback as criticism. If your partner gets hurt or offended when you offer suggestions in bed, that's a serious red flag. When their ego is tied to their performance, they see sex as a way to show off rather than a shared experience, which is less enjoyable for everyone. Bad responses to your feedback include, I can never get it right, save the pity party, no one else has complained about how I do this, irrelevant, have you always had trouble orgasming? Excuse me. Good responses include, it's so sexy when you tell me what you want, I love turning you on. 6. They're not intimidated by sex toys. If you've mentioned trying sex toys with your partner and they've been receptive, or if they've suggested it themselves, it's a sign they're open to experimenting. Some people think a partner's interest in sex toys implies they're not good in bed, but that's not true, accessories can enhance your sexual experience regardless of how good it already is. If your new partner is open to incorporating toys, imagine the other fantasies you'll explore together as your relationship deepens. 7. They wouldn't dream of getting oral without offering it in return. Or, even better, they ask if they can go down on you before you've even reciprocated. Sure, maybe it's not the best oral you've ever had, but their eagerness indicates they're willing to practice until it is. That's a win. 8. They ask you before trying something new instead of just going for it. It might not seem like a big deal if your partner checks in before changing positions or touching you differently. However, if they consistently seek your enthusiastic consent, it shows that consent is integral to their approach to sex. For them, sex isn't just about getting permission, it's about ensuring you both have a great time. Answers to six sex-related question women are too embarrassed to ask. Sex shy. Six questions women are embarrassed to ask. Many women likely still have unanswered questions about sex due to embarrassment. However, there's no reason to feel embarrassed about asking these questions, they're just as important as sex itself. For all the shy women out there, we're here to help. Here are answers to six common sex-related issues women face. 1. Can my partner fake orgasm? Is it normal? When we think of fake orgasms, we often only consider women, but men also engage in this practice. 
A study published in 2016 in the Journal of Sexual and Relationship Therapy revealed that 30% of North American men admitted to faking an orgasm at some point. The reasons behind men faking orgasms are similar to those for women, including factors like alcohol, fatigue, stress, or medication. However, the absence of an orgasm doesn't diminish the quality of the sexual experience. 2. I prefer anal sex over vaginal, is it normal? Yes, it's completely normal. Interestingly, women who have engaged in anal sex often experience more orgasms compared to those who have not. This is because the area is rich in sensitive nerve endings, making it capable of producing intense orgasms. Therefore, if you've had this experience, it's understandable if you prefer anal sex over vaginal sex. 3. Is it normal to for my partner to feel my coil during sex? While there's no danger in feeling your coil during sex, you may want to consult your doctor to refit it for better comfort for both you and your partner. If your partner can feel the coil, it suggests it may not have been fitted correctly, which is more likely if your partner has a sensitive penis. 4. Is it normal for my vagina to make noises? Yes, vaginal noises, often referred to as fanny farts or vaginal farts, are completely normal. They are an inevitable part of vaginal sex because air can be pushed into the vagina during intercourse and then expelled due to thrusting. These occurrences are natural, so there's no need to feel embarrassed about them. 5. Can I masturbate 5 times a week? Yes, it's not only normal but also beneficial for women's health. While masturbation is often associated with men, it's equally important and healthy for women to engage in. According to a 2009 study conducted by the National Survey of Sexual Health and Behavior NSSHB, at Indiana University, 3% of women reported masturbating more than three times a week. The reasons for lower reported rates of masturbation among women compared to men are not well understood. However, masturbation is known to enhance mood and strengthen vaginal muscles in women. 6. Though I am straight but I get turned on by watching a girl on girl porn. Is it normal? Recent research indicates that women's habits of watching porn do not necessarily reflect secret sexual desires. A study conducted by the Center for Addiction and Mental Health at the University of Toronto found that while male arousal often correlates with their sexual orientation, the same is not true for women. Regardless of their sexual orientation, women show similar levels of arousal when watching heterosexual and female-only sex porn. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.